Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to use Inkscape for crafters. This one will be the first lesson for beginners. I will teach you how to draw an object in five steps and in just 10 minutes. Let's start with the class. If you don't have Inkscape yet, I recommend you to go to Inkscape Dot org and download the version that is best for your computer. Click on download current version and it will give you the option to install on Mac, Windows and Linux. Once installed, go to Inkscape. Before we start with the steps, we are going to change the size of the document or Canva. Let's go to file Click on Document Properties and you will see this window. Here you can select the document you wish to work. I will select Letter Size and in Orientation I will click on Landscape. Here is the Canva we will be working on. If you wish to resize it, go to the lower right corner and resize to your liking. First step, I will show you how to insert shapes. First, I will draw a square or a rectangle. Click and start drawing on the Canva. With this one, we can draw a square or a rectangle. Now, click on the top arrow and you will see that the rectangle is surrounded by arrows. Those arrows will help us to resize the shape, to make it small, big, a square, or a rectangle. This is a free form, but if you wish to resize to a specific measurement, go to the size bar above. Here it gives you the option to change the measurements from millimeters, pixels, percentage, centimeters, and inches. I will set it to inches. Let's say we need a 5 by 5 inches square. Type 5 on width and 5 on high, and we will have a perfect square. If you do not want this square to change shape, go to the size bar and click on the lock. Now, if you wish to resize, it will not distort one side. It will change the measurements on both sides. Now that you already know how to resize, I will show you how to rotate. Double click on the shape and you will see that the arrows on the corners are curved. Get one of those arrows and start rotating. Click again on the shape if you wish to resize or rotate. I will set it aside and I will draw a circle. Click here on this circle and start drawing either an oval or a circle. If the circle is not perfect, go to the size bar above and adjust the measurements. Let's say you need to draw a 4 inches circle. Type 4 on width and 4 on the high. Now you already have a perfect circle. Next, I will insert a polygon, a star, a cube, and a spiral. I will start with the polygon. Click on the polygon here, then above, and start drawing. Now, if you wish to draw a star, click on the star above, pick how many corners you wish your star to have, and draw it. I'm going to draw a six corners one.
Next, I will draw a cube. Click over here and start drawing. And the same we will do with the spiral. Now that I already showed you how to draw shapes, how to change size and rotate, I will teach you how to color these shapes. Select the object you wish to color, go to the color bar below and pick the color you wish to use. Here is the start with a different color. Now I will show you another way to color the objects. Click on the paint bucket and paint. Now change the color using the bar below. With this option it will give you two layers. I will show you one more way to color the objects. Select the object. Do you see this rectangle here? It should have the same color as the object. Select it and you will see this window. Click on the droplet. Click on the color you wish to copy. I will copy this one and ready. I will select on the square, click on the droplet, click on the color I wish to copy and ready. This option is perfect to copy a color you already have on the Canva. Like this, you don't have to go to the color bar. Now I will teach you how to modify an object. Let's modify this star. Go to path. Click on object to path, click twice on the image and you will see that now the star is surrounded by little squares or diamonds. That means that now we can modify the object. Click on any diamond and stretch it in or out. I will place this one aside. Now I will show you how to modify this polygon into a flower. Go to path, object to path, click twice on the image to reveal the diamonds. Now to have more freedom, I will add more diamonds, still using the second arrow. Next, start modifying. Like I said before, this time I will draw a flower. You may keep on adding more diamonds if you wish to modify a little more. Remember to use the second arrow to do this process. If you make a mistake, go to this arrow over here and click to go back. I will resize this circle and place it on top of the flower. If you don't see it on top, go and click up here to place it on top and change color if you wish. Now you already know how to set up your Canva, how to draw shapes, resize, rotate, change color and modify the images. This one was the first basic lesson of how to use Inkscape. In the next coming tutorial, I will teach you how to create gradients, how to use filters, how to add offset, how to insert images to the Canva, 
Also, I will show you how to save on SVG and PNG. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this basic lesson and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.